This review has been made possible by Toyota of Naperville. As you know, Toyota has tons of brand new Toyotas available for purchase, but did you know that they also have a remarkable selection of used cars? Head on over to toyotaofnaperville.com and look through hundreds of used cars for sale right now. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2005 Toyota RAV4. Up front is a 2.4 liter inline four and down below is a four speed automatic transmission. Now I'm super excited to be driving this here RAV4 for one reason really. And it's the fact that I've never driven one of these from this year, from this body style. This is the last year for the second generation RAV4. And I'm excited to see what it's like. I grew up around these cars. I went to high school from 2012 to 2016. And so this was right in that area where these cars were getting to be about 10 years old. So a lot of kids my age had vehicles like this. Hand-me-downs from parents, hand-me-downs from siblings. These were filling the used car dealers at the time. So I feel very nostalgic of this car and I'm ready to get into that. So let's get back to that 2.4 liter under the hood. Well, this engine was only offered here in the US for the last two years of this body style, 2004 and 2005. This being a 2005, it gets the 2.4 liter where the rest of the world stuck with the 2.0 liter. I'll put the horsepower and torque up on the screen, not that it's anything impressive. Then I'll put the miles per gallon up on the screen, 2227. It's okay, it's not bad, but this is really before cars started really pushing four miles per gallon, so it gets a free pass there. All right, cars warmed up out here on the test track. No sport mode, of course. Not bad. It's not bad. That's my camera case shifting over there. Not bad. <laughs> I mean, it's not fast. It's not gonna blow the doors off a Lamborghini, but it's not the most sluggish thing in the world. Let's get a clean clips where I'm not talking. I'm not mad at it. Definitely not mad at it. Like I said, paired to it, four speed automatic transmission. Again, shifts fine, does the job, no complaints. Last but not least, the RAV4 is all wheel drive, which I absolutely love, especially for a small little SUV like this. But before we get on with the rest of the video, I want to say thank you to the people who made this video possible. First up, cashforcars.com wants to buy your car. They will buy your car with a clean title, salvage title, running, non-running, whatever it may be. You can get your free quote by clicking the link in the description below. Cashforcars.com is the easiest way to sell your car. Within a couple of clicks, they'll come pick up your car in less than 24 hours. You don't even have to leave the couch and it's absolutely awesome. Next up, we have con plates. The con plate is a suction cup mount for your license plate when you don't want to mount it to the front of your car. If you have to legally have a front license plate like you do here in Illinois, but you don't want to stick it on the front of your car, you think it's ugly, you want to take it off for car shows, whatever it may be, you can actually just put your license plate into the suction cup holder and put it in your front windshield when driving around to remain legal. You can get your con plate in the description below and every sale helps out the channel so make sure your car looks good with con plates last but not least i want to talk about the fixed obd2 sensor now this is a bluetooth sensor that you plug into your obd2 port on your car and it gives you a ton of cool information like your check engine lights how to fix your check engine lights approximately how much it should cost maintenance intervals like oil change tire rotation brake pads when you should change that stuff out this is absolutely fantastic for anyone into cars or anyone looking to get into mechanics Fixed is offering my viewers a discount through that link, so go check it out and again, help support the channel. But with all of that out of the way, let's get on with the review. With that out of the way, let's talk about the interior, arguably the more interesting portion of the RAV4. Well, in front of me, I have three physical gauges. On the left is my speedometer. Then I have a center-mounted tachometer. Now, I just got out of the 2021 Toyota Supra, and in that video, I said, all sports cars should have center-mounted tachometers. I need to fix my verbiage to all sports cars plus the 2005 Toyota RAV4 should have center-mounted tachometers. I think it's kind of funny, but it's there and it works. And then on the right, I have my fuel, coolant, gear, and my warning lights. On the steering wheel on the left, I have my volume commands, which is very nice for 2005. But on the right side, I don't have any buttons. Now I do have cruise control on a stalk to the bottom right, 
which I don't know why they didn't just integrate into the steering wheel itself to make it more symmetrical and not have this weird stalk hanging off the side. To the left of me, I do have my gauge dimmer switch, mirror buttons, and a little coin holder. Then on the door, I have my power windows and power locks. I do have auto back up for the driver, which is very, very nice, hands-free, one touch back up. Love that. Moving into the center, two climate control vents, a now outdated radio, but for the time, decent radio. It does have a CD player as well as a tape deck, AM, FM, tape, disc. There's no USB inputs. There's no aux inputs this is really before that time because you have to remember the iPhone didn't come out till even two years after this car. So we're talking about Motorola Razors and Nokia's. There wasn't any aux on those. You weren't jam packing your tunes on there. So there's no USB or aux input. Down below the radio are the climate controls. Nothing really to see here, defrost. I do have a little clock to the right, a digital clock, which I like. But single zone, hot, cold, where you want it, low, high, that's about it. Then I have a 12 volt outlet down below, bunch of dead switches, cause like I said, this is a base model, and cup holders, so we will do a big friggin' bottle test, and the RAV4 passes. Now, what's interesting about this, not only does the bottle fit, but it has these sort of extenders, so you can adjust to any size bottle or cup that you have in your cup holders. This is probably the smartest system I've seen in a car in a very long time, and this car is, oh God, this is 16 years old making me feel old and I'm 23. So long story short, it passes the big friggin' bottle test. Then we have the shifter itself, very typical Toyota shifter. I mean, I think every car from this era either had this or that little jigsaw sort of type shifter. I like it, nice and tall, feels good in my hand and it shifts like it should. Coming down onto the center console, I have two more coin holders for some odd reason. You get a lot of coin storage here in the RAV4 and I get a 12 volt, 120 watt outlet, making it two for this interior. So two different people can charge their devices or use it for whatever other purpose. Then I do have a little center console that is tiny, nothing in it, can only store things really vertically. It doesn't really offer all that much space. And then we get to the seats. The seats are decently comfortable. They're very mid 2000s. They are cloth. They're not nice. However, like I said, they're decently comfortable. But speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2005 Toyota RAV4. Leg room is not great. Now this is my driving position, which could be moved up for sure, but it's not amazing. Headroom is good. I can fit my fist up above my head and I'm 5'11". Not really many amenities back here. I don't get a center console. I don't get cup holders. I do have an ashtray down here. Oh wait, I do have a cup holder. Interesting. So looks like a regular center console, right? But you pull this and now it's a cup holder. Look at that. That's pretty cool. But here's the thing. This back seat is not meant to carry a bunch of people. This is a high schooler's car. This is a college student's car. And so, can you jam your friends back here to try to make it to Sonic before your lunch break is over? Yes, you can absolutely do that. Can you fit your friends back here to go to the football game on Friday night? Absolutely. Do I wanna be back here on a long distance road trip from Chicago to California? No, but what high schooler is doing that? Maybe the one weirdo kid that just needs to get out and explore, man. No, you have geometry homework due at four, so settle down. But for everyone besides that one kid, this back seat is fine. If you have a family, I can't really recommend this. Just trying to get a car seat back here and you know, more than one kid back here is gonna be a little bit of a hassle. But other than that, for high school, college, whatever it may be, this back seat's fine. Now we'll take a look at the cargo space and then we'll talk about the looks. So around the back of the 05 Toyota RAV4, little handle here opens up sideways, which is nice for loading because you can get right in here, but a little privacy cover here, but actually the size in here is really, really good. These are the floor mats, of course, because it's a used car, but the size back here is amazing. You can fit tons of stuff. I always think of these cars as soccer player cars. So your bag of balls, your cleats, your shin guards, whatever it may be can all go right here fits in very, very nice. And I like this giant swinging door. I think it's really cool and super useful. 
Now we gotta talk about the looks. I kind of like the look of this RAV4, and the reason for that is because, like I said, I grew up with these cars. You know, when I went to high school and definitely junior high, elementary school, these were all over the place. And so I think I like it just for that little, like, nostalgic sort of feel to it. I don't think it's anything impressive. It definitely is mid-2000s bubbly, but hey, I kind of miss the mid-2000s bubble. Now we gotta talk about the RAV4 as a whole. First of all, let's talk about what I don't like. I'm noticing in here, and granted, it's nine degrees outside today, but I'm noticing a lot of rattles. Something on the windshield is rattling, and something back there is rattling. I don't know what. And this car only has 77,000 miles on it. Now it is 16 years old, and I've met 16 year olds that have more rattles and annoying sounds than this car, but the point being is that Toyota build quality used to be insanely good, and I feel like this is when it started to drop off a little bit. I drove an 89 Toyota Camry with very similar mileage to this, and that thing was rock solid. I think it was made out of granite. There wasn't a squeak or squeal anywhere. But this, I'm getting almost a symphony of rattles and jingles, and I don't like that. I'm not a huge fan of the basicness in here, but I can sort of live with it and appreciate it. Now let's talk about what I do like. Well, I like how light and nimble this car is. I have great visibility. Everything in here feels thin and tiny and small. What I really feel like is that this feels like the Mitsubishi Pajero Mini that I drove last October. Better build quality than that car for sure. That the Mitsubishi had terrible build quality, but this feels a lot nicer, but it feels very similar. Something else that I really like about this that I found kind of amusing was MSN Autos did a report when this car came out in 2005 and reported, you can look this up, that this was the most often titled vehicle for women in 2005. More than 57% of RAV4s from 2005 were titled and registered by females which I think is really interesting. You know, guys always think that girls want the hot red sports car like the Supra, but no, this is what they want. <laughs> so pro tip for anyone out there looking to attract women, skip the Supra baby, get an 05 RAV4. <laughs> Here's what it boils down to. I really enjoy driving this car and I'm really glad I found such a clean example. 77,000 miles and no showing of visible rust on the outside. That's hard to come by, especially given the circumstances outside and living in the rust belt. But that's just it. I enjoy driving this. It's quick enough. I'm up high. I can see everything. It's just a little trusty SUV. And if you think about it, back in 2005, not every auto manufacturer was making SUVs. It wasn't as big of a craze as it is now. Granted, the SUV craze started in the 90s, but it has grown exponentially since then. Arguably, it's grown the most in the last 10 years, which excludes this vehicle. And so, this was a really good SUV before really good SUVs were sort of around. And I really, really like it. It's easy to drive, it's quick enough, it's simple enough. There's no frills in here. There's no giant screen to distract your kid while driving. It's just a solid little car, and I really, really like it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Toyota Naperville for letting me take out their 2005 Toyota RAV4. This is one of their used vehicles. They have hundreds of used cars on the lot at all times. Go check them out if you're looking for a RAV4 new or used or maybe even something else. I just got out of a Supra. I'm about to drive a Mini Cooper S from them. They have tons of variety. So if you're looking for a new car, Toyota of Naperville should be your first choice. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.